Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by the channel. Now I've been tying a lot of super simple flies recently uh, using this book, Morgan Lyle's Simple Flies, but I'm doing another one tonight. This one isn't from the book. This is just one I came up with a couple of years ago. I was out in the Savage River, needed some general mayfly nymph looking pattern, and so I just came up with this one, put a little silver bead on a size 16 nymph hook, and dubbed it with some purple squirrel. And I've since gone to, you know, other colors. I'll tie it with a natural, maybe an olives and some browns. And I've gone to a possum dub body as well. So yeah, I like to tie this guy in some natural colors, but also mix it up with some really bold colors, some purples and pinks. So today I'm going to tie it with possum and using purple. So this one I'm calling the purple possum. I generally tie it pretty small, 14, 16s and 18s, probably 16s being the most common. So before we get to the tie, make sure you stick around to the end. I'll be doing the drawing for the four vices I'm going to be giving away. So that's it. Let's get started. Purple possum. So there it is in the vise, my purple possum. Again, I tie this pretty small. This is a size 16. And I'll tie it down to an 18, sometimes 14. Those are the sizes I keep in my box. It's a 2x long nymph hook, and that's a 2.8 millimeter tungsten, or not tungsten, it's a brass bead, but in silver color. There you go right there, PFC brass 2.8 millimeter. And I'm going to put down uh, about 10 wraps of 015 weight. You could probably use fewer if you had a tungsten bead, but you know, I like these to get deep. So I do like some weight because it helps keep that bead in place. You jam it right up in there if you get it just right. And there we go. Black thread on this. This is a 70 denier. I'll put a dam right behind it, take a few wraps up over the weight, and then bring it back to the bend of the hook. Now the tail on this, I just use whatever fur I'm doing. If I'm doing it in a possum, I'll take um, my, you know, this is the, the possum that I made the dubbing out of. And remember, possum is pretty white uh, down near the under fur. So it takes a dye really well. So that's the what I got the dubbing mix out of. And I'll just take, you know, um, a little tuft of the long guard hairs right there. I might cut that out, but I'm definitely not gonna use that much. So let me show you. Okay, so I've got a piece right there and I wanna make it about a body length, but I don't want it that full. So pull a little bit of that under fur out and then pull some of these really long ones. Just try to even it up with your hands. You're not gonna get this stacked in your hair stacker. It's just, you know, just not the kind of hair that would stack. So get about a body length after you've gotten the, the sizes plucked out that you really want. And let's try to catch this in right here. I'm gonna do two pinch wraps and then take a look at it. Okay. That's about how long I want the tail. I'm happy with that. So I'm not going to let it spin. And I'm going to put a few more medium wraps and then tight wraps until I get right up behind those weight wraps. So that's going to be good right there. And I'm kind of using that, this tail material to help even out that body, give me a little bit better of a taper, even though it's not that necessary because it is a very buggy body. Okay, now let's tie in a rib. And I'm using black wire and small. If you don't have a black wire, just use thread. You could have left that thread tag in long and then ribbed it with your thread. You could even use monofilament. I've, I've ribbed plenty of flies with a 4X tippet. That'll work just fine. But I don't really make this, I don't want a flashy rib. I just want it to be kind of nondescript. Uh, it's really to make the, the fly more durable. So after you got your rib material caught in, whether it's wire or, or thread or monofilament, put some wax on your thread. Now that dubbing I took out is, it's really buggy stuff. Here it is right here. Um, I, I ran it through my, my coffee grinder and I'm just gonna put it on here pretty thick. And you were able to do that because, you know, we're ribbing it. And I want it to be a big buggy body. Okay, I got about two inches of dubbing on right there. It's probably going to take a couple of applications, but take this up maybe halfway and then we'll add some more if we need. 
Okay, a little bit more wax and a little bit more dubbing. Okay, now that's pretty buggy looking, but a lot of that will be trapped in with our, our rib. So go ahead and counter wrap your rib. Four or five turns on this size 16 would be fine. Now just catch it off right behind the bead. If you got enough wraps in there where you can spin it to break it off, go ahead and spin it off. Now you might want to put a drop of super glue right there before you whip finish it, or just go straight into the whip finish. If you've got enough room, I'll do two, three turn whip finishes, and I've never had one of these fall apart on me. Now you might have a little bit of cleanup. I've got a couple of guard hairs coming out right there. I'm just gonna trim those around the eye, and then a couple of these really long ones. And on the other end, if it's not buggy enough, take your dubbing brush, take a bodkin and pick some of that out on the bottom. So that's it, everybody. I appreciate you watching. Stick around, I'm about to be doing the drawing for the vices. All right, everybody, thanks for sticking around. I'm about to do the drawing for the four vices. You're looking at Savage Fly's YouTube page. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link right here. Go up here to the YouTube random comment picker. I will paste this URL in here, and we're going to filter the comments based on the hashtag Vice, V-I-S-E. Let's see how many comments we get. 56 comments. I know it looks like there's a lot more, but that's, you know, me answering and back and forth a few times. So let's pick the first one. This is going to be for the Supreme Vice. The Supreme Vice will go to David Keller. So David Keller, congratulations on that. I'll leave a comment and... Uh, on your comment so you know. Now let's go to the second one. Oh, pick another winner right here. So we had David Keller, and this one is for the Crown Vice, Gary Hartung. All right, congratulations, Gary. You get the Crown Vice. So let's pick the third one. This is for the Max Catch. The Max Catch Vice is gonna go to Mike Nay. All right, well, congratulations, Mike. I think you're gonna love this vice. I, I had a pretty good time playing with it. And then the final one is going to be the Griffin Odyssey Spider. Let's see who gets this one. This is going to be Connecticut Angler. All right, my friend, congratulations, Connecticut Angler. Uh, again, you guys send me an email and I will get these vices in the mail to you in the next couple of days. Do note, it is a big snowstorm here in Maryland tonight. Uh, might not be Monday when I get out to the post office, but it'll be at least Tuesday, no later than that. So that's it, everybody. I appreciate you watching. Stick around. We're going to be doing another one of these in February. So thanks, everybody. Y'all take care. We'll see you next time.